Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, I'm Lauren. I hope that you're all staying healthy and safe and well, and sort of regaining that normalcy back into your life. I'm really itching, I'm itching to travel, but I'm still a little bit afraid. So if you have traveled, and by travel I mean air travel, let me know how it's been and if you felt okay doing it, because I want to, I'm just still a little bit hesitant, so. Anyway, this video, exciting, because I'm gonna be talking about one of my favorite SLGs or small leather goods and that is a card holder or I like to use it as a Like a small wallet because I carry a lot of mini bags. Oh, and I should also mention before I forget I ha I wore this necklace Not last video. I think it was a couple videos videos ago and a lot of people were asking me where it was from so this one here, which has like this little um, gemstone in the middle. This is by Ana Luisa I spoke about them before um, and I know you might be thinking like oh my gosh every youtuber is talking about Ana Luisa like mm, we can't trust them but you can trust me <laughs> because I'm not like a huge huge jewelry person I don't like to spend a lot of money on jewelry um, and I feel like Ana Luisa their prices and I've had this now for like over a month and it's it's gorgeous like Sometimes I buy cheap jewelry and it tarnishes and stuff, but this is gorgeous. This is a collab by Michelle Choi. Um, it's called the Mish Necklace. So, and then these are the Rock Small. I wear these all the time just because they're easy to take on and off for work. And I think they're just so cute. They're just little square earrings. Anyway, a lot of people were asking about this. I will link it down below as well as a coupon code I have. Now we're going to talk about these small leather goods. So. This actually isn't for me. This is a gift. I have two uh, Saint Laurent card holders here, but I ordered two styles that were similar um, in functionality and similar in price point, but I just wanted to see which one was actually better. So I thought I could compare them both with you. And this isn't my first time getting a Saint Laurent card holder. My original card holder I got was this one way back in the day. It's by Saint Laurent. This is their fragment card holder. This was kind of like their first um, OG one, I guess you would say. And um, I used this for probably about maybe a year, a little bit less than a year. And then I passed it on to my husband. As you can see, after about four years, there's some wear like creasing there. And then on the back, there's some creasing here. I think from just putting it in his um, back pocket. The first one I'm gonna open up is called the Monogram Fragments a Zippered Card Case. This is from the women's line here. It's $500 Canadian on the YSL website. It's cheaper if you get it from places like um, Farfetch or Matches or Louisa Via Roma or any of those um, kind of online sites, I think. So here we go. Let's open it up. There's just the authenticity stuff. It comes in a cute little dust bag and this is it. Ooh, I haven't actually opened these up yet. So this will be good to see. So this is it right here. It has that sort of caviar type leather. It has that gold um, YSL monogram right there and then there we go. So I haven't looked at this. Everything looks good. I did a quick a once over. It's in a perfect pristine condition, which it should be. You're paying $500 for a card case. It should be in like perfect condition. So um, this one is pretty simple. It's similar to my Louis Vuitton one. I'll do a comparison of them all at the end. But like I said, there's that monogram on the front and then on the back here, you have card slots and you have one, two, three, four, five different card slots. Um, right now, they're probably, actually they're not very tight at all, uh, slipping in cards and things like that. But um, there's the five card slots there, and then when you open this one up, it's like the Louis Vuitton. It has this sort of gusset right here, which is nice because the original fragment one that I had before didn't have this. So now you can open this up really nicely, and like, this is so nice. The leather on this is beautiful. I like this caviar leather. I feel like it's going to be fairly hardy so um, I want to give away something that's going to last a long time and I feel like Saint Laurent like with this one being four years old I feel like this has a really good sort of longevity and I feel like the quality is really good so zipper pull is also nice and smooth I should mention that because that can also be a little bit of a deterrent I know sometimes when you get a new item and you go like this it's a little bit sticky so this is really nice. 
I like this. Like I said, this is just the plain monogram fragments. It's $500 Canadian. The other one, exact same box. I'm assuming it's going to be the same stuff. Yep. This one is called the monogram fragments flap card case. So here we go. This one's cute. Okay, let me do a quick once over, make sure everything is okay with it. I did a quick once over, everything looks really good. I did notice because I'm very particular that there's a tiny little dent on the zipper um, there. So it's like the metal almost has like a tiny little dent. So that kind of bothers me a little bit, but I'm also an extreme perfectionist when it comes to things like that. Because like I said, I feel like if you're paying a large amount, of money and this one is $530 so it's $30 more than the other one I feel like you should be getting something in perfect condition so this is cute because it has this little flat part here and then it also has the zipper compartment and then it has card slots in the back and it also has five card slots so um I bought this one and I thought it's really cute because it almost looks like a mini wallet not so much like a card holder, like the typical style card holder. Just looks a little bit different. Um, the zipper on this though. This one is definitely, I don't, you probably, oh, there you can tell. It's a little bit stickier. Um, it's just harder to open up, which I think it's because there is some pressure here, the way that the leather is sewn. Um, with the flap, there's a little bit of added pressure against. You can kind of see, even when you're looking at it, you can kind of see like it's very tight um, and pushed against the zipper. So opening it up, it's just not smooth. Like the, like it's, it's not smooth. <laughs> you can tell. Um, the other thing I noticed is if you open this part up, the flap part here, it's so cute, but this is like, oh, it's so tight to get into and I'm sure it will loosen over time but I think because again there's a zipper component and then there's cards here I feel like it's just hard to open up and I feel like it will be harder to even open up once there's coins in here and once these cards have filled up because that's going to add more pressure and push against this part I just feel like this is a tight that would annoy me <laughs> basically that's what I'm trying to say is at the grocery store it would annoy me but um, let's go in a little bit deeper into both of them and sort of look at the pros and the cons I think that might actually help let's look at this one first which is the plain fragment card holder it doesn't have the flap on the front so at the back here I have put in four cards it is a little bit snug to begin with but I also felt like it was a little bit snug when I got my Louis Vuitton one as well it loosened up so the leather on here will definitely loosen up I put four cards in there's room for one one more but you can see it's really really tight now because all the pressure of these other cards on it so you could definitely fit um, a fifth card in but I feel like for me when I use my um, Louis Vuitton one I just put my main cards here so like my credit card the two credit cards I use in my debit card I would actually put three cards in there so I put four cards in there opening this part up very easy to open I love that aspect that you can easy easily open it up I don't think it stretches as far. So you can see the Louis Vuitton one. Maybe if I put it side by side like this. The Louis Vuitton one opens up quite a bit farther than the Saint Laurent one. But um, this is a way easier to open up as compared to the original sort of fragment one. So, I mean, albeit this has loosened quite a bit. But this one here, there's just so much more room. So I'm going to put in one two three four five five more cards into this part here and it's just easy to kind of go through and find i like that aspect of it um i'll try with cash and see if cash kind of fits in so cash this is a 20 dollar bill i folded it doesn't fit like sort of that way you can almost tell um, so it doesn't fit. Let's try the other way. It doesn't fit either. So you would have to fold this. I feel like again, sort of, sort of one more time, but cash fits in really easily into there. That's nice. So you could fit a couple of bills in there. And like I said, I don't want to like play with this too much because it is a gift, but I just wanted to show you what you could fit in there. So I put in two more 
Um, so I have three bills in there, as you can see. And if you wanted to, you could also put some coins in. Um, coins would fit in really nicely, and it zips up super duper easy, kind of like that. So that's what it looks like. You can see there's no warping. Um, so in total, I have four cards there, five cards inside, two bills, and you could also put some change in there as well. I really like this style. I feel like it's similar to my LV one. Size-wise, if you take a look, the LV is a little bit longer. As you can see, it's also a little slightly taller. Barely, you can barely tell, but it's a little bit taller. Um, again, the Louis Vuitton opens up a little bit more. I do feel like this is much I feel like this is classier compared to this. Like this Louis Vuitton one, I feel like it's fairly casual, which I have a very casual style, but I feel like this one here almost looks more like a wallet. Maybe it's just the chevron kind of print and the YSL. So here is the flat version of this. And this one I said like before, feels more like a little mini wallet. It's very, very cute. I put the four cards in the back, the same four cards. It's again, the exact same as the other one. It's a little bit tricky to fit in right now just because the leather is brand new and it's fairly tough. And then I'm gonna take my five cards and I'm gonna put them in this top zipper component like I did before. And maybe you can see like, this zipper is very, it, ooh, like even pulling there, it's not opening. Why is it not opening? Okay, this zipper is definitely not as nice and smooth as the other one. So, oh, this is, so because of these cards here, these cards are now pushing in. So it's definitely like, it's hard to put, even put my fingers in there. So hopefully these cards can get in. So let me show you. Okay, this, why does this opening feel like it's smaller? This opening feels like, see how I've opened it all the way? but it almost feels like the length of a card. So it's a little bit trickier to get in. And now I have the five cards in there. And this is like, I, I almost can't even open it to see what cards I have. Do you see the amount of, like you have no sort of space. That's a tight squeeze. I even feel like if you were to put coins in here, to get the coins out would be tricky. So this, zipper part is almost useless. So I was right, you can see that the zipper compartment on the plain one without the flap, if I line it up completely perfect again, is a little bit longer. So you have more space to sort of fit cards in. Whereas the one with the flap, which is on top, it ends um, maybe about like half an inch um, closer. So it's harder to slip the cards in. So I was right in my suspicion okay that's good to know so I would almost say that this part here is almost kind of useless um, you could put maybe a card that you don't use often in there um, cash I don't even want to try because I feel like yeah <laughs> this is just not good you can fit cash in there but it's it's a tight squeeze and to open it up to take it out is it's not good. So cash in there, I wouldn't put. I think the only thing I would put in there is maybe a card I wasn't using. Frequently, I wouldn't even put coins in there because it's just way too hard to open. And then the zipper. Anyway, I think I know which one I like. <laughs> I feel like I can stop now. You can probably guess which one I like. Um, so let's try and put some things in here. Um, maybe I can put those five cards in here. So uh, I want to do it so you can see. Again, this is a tight, it's tight. That's a tight squeeze. Um, trying to take it out is also tough. <laughs> Darn it, I really was hoping this one would work. Um, but cash, maybe cash is what will have to go in the front flap. Um, so again, I just put a $20 bill. I think this will work because it has that sort of wiggle room there because it folds over. So you can definitely use this to put cash. That's a pro. So cash will fit in the front. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say to put coins in here. I wonder with kind of constantly like opening and closing, I wonder how the wear would be here with the seams and the glazing as well. So I should also mention because this one has this flap, it's a little bit chunkier. 
I guess you would say, compared to this one here. Uh, if you have a lot of mini bags, I feel like this one would fit in a lot better. This one is a little bit bigger and a little bit fatter um, compared to this one. Again, this one is $500 Canadian. The Louis Vuitton one is $455. Um, and while I do, like I do love this one, this is like I said, my has been my favorite. I feel like because this one is all leather, and essentially you're paying like $50 more, less than that, like $45 more. And if you buy it off like Farfetch or, you know, Matches or My Teresa, it's probably even cheaper. It's probably about the same price as this one, but you're getting leather. So again, size difference in case you just want to see. The Louis Vuitton is a little bit bigger. I do feel like this one is um, a bit more feminine, if that matters. I don't really care, but I do feel like this one is a tiny bit more. Um, uh, even dressier this one is very casual so and if you're here to the very end I should also let you know that I will be giving this away as a giveaway prize so it's not for me I mentioned at the beginning I'm giving it away and I'm giving away to one of you so I'm super excited um, I will be posting the giveaway within the next couple of weeks so definitely stay tuned but um, one of you will be winning this beautiful YSL fragment card holder. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Again, thank you so much for watching and for subscribing and always leaving comments. I truly appreciate it. And again, if you want to know more about this, I will link it down below. The Mish necklace, I always look at it. It's just, you can tell, you can tell I like black and gold, right? By, by essentially what I wear. So anyway, and that's the rock small. I will leave everything down below and link everything. So until I see you next time, have a good day. Bye.